and we're ready. 50th wedding anniversary! And to commemorate this event, Jeanette White is going to sing the first anniversary dance. And they have chosen for their anniversary waltz to be that I have this dance for the rest of my life, which happens to be their song. They're going to start it off, and as tradition has it, we would like all of you to join them once the waltz gets started. So let's let them start it off once. This song only goes through one time, so you've got to get in there right away. Here we go. I'll do it with you. Just one, just one time. I'll always remember that man on the drink.
Fred! I would like to give a toast to Uncle Fred and Aunt Loretta for their 50th wedding anniversary. You're here. Anyway, I've known Fred for quite a few years. I don't know how long, but Aunt Loretta, Aunt Loretta is only a couple, couple months behind him. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to just say a few words about back in our days back home in Minnesota. Oh, don't mention them. <laughs> Minnesota? Oh, 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 tell us, oh, oh, tell us, tell us, tell us. I remember one time. In Minnesota. Fred had a 49 Ford, and I had a little 50 Plymouth, and I thought I could, I could beat him. We did a drag race. Never had. Yeah, we did a lot, of, a lot of drag racing down Second Street from the paper mill on. He always beat me, so I thought, well, hell, I bought me a fifty Ford. This little bitch still beat me. How's that work out? But one day we took off. Took off. We were seeing how how far we could take and peel a little rubber in the gravel. You mean this wasn't on Main Street? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fred took off and he's going down toward Moonlight Rock. I thought he was going to go to the end of the road, but no, he had to take the railroad tracks. Yeah. Went down about a quarter mile and he took off through the through the woods, knocking down brush, going through dirt that a muskrat wouldn't go through. <laughs> He was ahead of me, and I tried to pass him, and I got hung up on a stump. <laughs> I had to go home and get my dad to come blow me off. <laughs> when we were younger, we used to take and go down to Second Bridge swimming. They called it Shit Creek. And it was, that's where... All the houses along the creek, they didn't have no septic tanks or sewers. Everything flowed into the into the river. Aunt Martha, you swam there too. No, she can't swim. Anyway, one day we're down there. We had Polly and Lulu. And there are a couple that are a little off a little bit. <laughs> Old Polly, he takes a takes a run off the dock, takes a dive. It's only about five feet deep, and he gets his head his head stuck in the mud, and all his feet were just kicking. <laughs> Fred and I, we jump in and we grab a leg each, and we pull him out. He got mud, and we kicked around his head and face. <laughs> We never did get in much trouble. I think Fred was asked to leave town. He moved to Montana. Anyway, I have a nice younger uncle. Our younger Annie. Not by much, though. Don't forget the looks, too. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I haven't known him very long. About 74 years. Yeah. So. Fred's got a lot of Anyway. Yeah. I, know, I want to wish you happy anniversary. Thank you. 50th. All right. Yeah. All right.
How you count? <laughs> uh, hey, uh, seriously, uh, I was talking to all my brothers and sisters the last month or two, and uh, you know, it got us kind of talking about when we were kids. And you know, when you're kids, you don't really appreciate what your parents do. You know, you you kind of just bond together. You're kind of your little group, and you kind of have it out for your parents a little bit. You know, maybe they should do this better, do that better. By the way. All of our sisters and brothers think my brother and I were spoiled rotten. Greg, I think that... You are! I think you are! are. I'm sorry. Hey, look, the bottom line here is you get better parents the longer you do it. We were the last ones. Ron, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> spoiled too. So, uh, hey, look, uh, the bottom... You know, I want to just kind of get to is, um, you know, I had a great childhood, and I think all my brothers and sisters say the same thing. Um, I would do it all over again. Had a great time. I don't know hey. that they would. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to relocate. Not in this area. Uh, no. uh, you know, hot, hot lava in the front room when we were uh, five years old. Ron, you know what I'm about? Uh, that was awesome. I don't know what you guys are laughing about because we're doing it at all your houses too. <laughs> your furniture got fucked up. Uh, hey, but uh, on a serious note, um, you know, the older I've gotten and I've had my kids, and uh, I've learned how hard it is to be parents, and I just want to thank Fred and Loretta Hall for raising all of us, and we know they were stretched thin at times, but they didn't make it like Most they felt it. <laughs> Dad's modest. <laughs> yeah. okay. He's also cheap! <laughs> Jeanette, that's why we keep you around. He doesn't look so cheap that way. <laughs> hey, but uh, seriously, hey, here's the friend Loretta. I know everybody here is here because of the friends, relationships, and family. We're all here for that reason. So, hey, very blast. Hey, and you guys can get your asses off those chairs and start partying. Let's go. Let's get up and move your feet. Where's the band at? Damn, I chewed them right up. Where are they at? They're taking a break. Good job. Oh, they're taking a break. I'm here. All right. Now, there, there must be somebody else who has something to contribute to this. I mean, I can't believe that there's just one of the, 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 the kids. No, the rest of us are shy. Well, I mean, there, there, there must be somebody else. He's our spokesperson. He's the he's spokesperson. I mean, isn't there someone who needs to come out and to finally say what they've been holding back after all these years? You want me to do it? I do take one 
wonderful kids for tonight. They did a wonderful job at planning this all. Yeah. Yeah. It's a night Got it. But it don't seem so lonely We fill it up with only two And when I heard That it was on my shoulder I can't be lonely Only you Okay, 
go ahead. I wouldn't trust this either. Oh, he's still out here? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it off now. I'll turn it off. Yeah. Is he gone yet? Fred and Fred is the fifth anniversary. Can we 